Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sharing with you today four more amazing family meal ideas that you can do at home that are super simple and easy and your family should really love like mine do. So I'm starting off with the sausage casserole. I get this seasoning mix from Aldi and it tells you everything you need to know on the back of it. So I'm adding in some onions and some peppers to my slow cooker. Then I'm gonna add some mushrooms in there. Then adding in my sausages, these are just some thin pork sausages from Aldi as well and I'm going to add my seasoning mix to 300 millilitres of cold water, mix all that together and pour it into my slow cooker like so and then mix everything together, make sure it's all coated in the juice and then it will thicken up as the time goes on. So I'm leaving it on high for about 3 to 4 hours first and it will look something like this and then I just turn it down to low as it's getting ready and it's looking like it's more done and then it's ready to serve. This is a really delicious meal which we all really love and it's super tasty and it's so simple and easy to do and it's done when it's tea time we can just serve it up because it's been in the slow cooker and it's all prepared and ready so I absolutely love making this. Nothing's growing where your heart is fire, but baby, I bet you're cold without me, even when it's 90 degrees, without me, I bet that you can get it. So for this next meal, you will need an onion, you'll need a pepper, some seasoning mix for tacos, and some beef and pork mince and also a pizza base. I got this one from Aldi, but you can get them from most supermarkets, I believe. So I'm first chopping up the onion. I'm just gonna chop that up and then I will chop up my pepper and put some oil in a pan and start to fry these till they are nice and soft. No flowers, nothing's growing where your heart is fire, but baby, I bet you're cold without me. Once your peppers and onions are looking nice and soft, you can then add in your mince and start to cook that till it's brown. Then I'm going to add in the taco seasoning mix to that and give it some flavour. These were supposed to be taco stuffed breadsticks with like cheese inside and I had it all planned but they didn't turn out very well so I ended up making like taco pizza wheels. Um, I was this is exactly what I was told to do when I found the the recipe but I don't think the strips were thick enough to do what I wanted to do with them. I was trying to like do it like the first one that you can see there but they didn't go well at all. So I ended up doing this and twisting them into pinwheels and we had taco pizza kind of pinwheels and they were absolutely delicious. I was so happy with how they turned out and I also made a really delicious tomato sauce to go with them. I used just a tin of chopped tomatoes and added in lots of different herbs and spices like paprika and all sorts of different things in there and that was the sauce that we added on top of that. I also had loads of meat left over so I decided to make some of these wraps and pop them in a bit like um, enchiladas um, and bake them in the oven and they were really nice as well so we had kind of mixture of everything a bit of like a Mexican kind of night um, and it was delicious, it was so nice. So next up I'm showing you a chicken curry. I love making these in the slow cooker. I'm always doing it in different ways 
and I just love doing it. So first thing I'm doing is adding some diced chicken to my slow cooker, popping some olive oil on there and adding some salt and pepper. Then I'm adding in some mixed spices and then some karma spice as well. We don't like it too spicy in this house. Well, Steve does, but me and the boys don't. So we do karma and it's just delicious. It's so tasty. And then I'm adding in these karma spices from the little Aldi jar that I get. So I always get this jar from Aldi um, and it's just a karma sauce and it comes with like the little seasoning at the top. So I'm adding that in as well. Then I'm adding in some diced onions. This is a full onion, just diced and put in there. Then I'm adding in these small new potatoes. I get a tin of these as well from Aldi and I just pop those in because it gives it a little bit more um, to the curry, just a little bit more extra as well as the chicken. So we've got some potatoes in there. Then I'm adding in the karma sauce. And once I've got everything I can out of it, I add some water to the jar, give it a good shake and then pour that in as well, just to it gives more extra flavor as well. So there's nothing left in the jar. Then I will give that a really good mix and I'll leave it on high for three to four hours and then again turn it down to low once it's looking like it's cooked and just leave it to simmer all day long and it is absolutely delicious. It's so tasty and yeah, we absolutely love it in this house. The boys adore it. So the last dish I'm showing you is a fish finger bake pie, whatever you want to call it. So I've popped some fish fingers into a baking dish and I'm putting them in the agar for 12 to 15 minutes so they are nice and cooked. And whilst that's cooking, I am popping some butter in a pan. This is two tablespoons and then also two tablespoons of flour. This is to make my sauce and then I'm adding in two cups of milk. So this will turn out really creamy and thick. I just need to keep stirring it. And then I'm adding in my second cup of milk there. And then once everything's mixed together and it's nice and thick, I'm gonna add in my frozen peas. And then make sure everything again is all mixed in together and the peas are cooking nicely on the pan. And then I'm adding in some grated cheese as well, just to give it an extra cheesy sauce. Then once the fish fingers are ready, I'm gonna pour my sauce all over them and then just make sure every little bit of the fish fingers is covered in the sauce. The sauce was really tasty as well. I've never actually made this before, but it turned out amazing. The boys were so happy with it. So once you've got all your sauce on there, you want to cover it in frozen chips. Might sound crazy, but this works. Pop your frozen chips in. And then once they're cooked, you take it out again and pop some cheese on top so this melts. So you pop that in the oven for again for another five minutes just so the cheese melts on top and it will look like this. And then it is ready to serve up. And oh my goodness, the boys literally loved this. They wolfed it down. So I was really pleased with how it turned out. We all enjoyed having this and it was a super quick and easy family meal and affordable as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and got some inspiration from it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe if you are new and we will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so yummy.